one cent 1989 and five cents 1989 welcome back coin enthusiast today we have something truly special to share with you all two ultra rare gems from the world of numismatics we're talking about the 1989 one cent and five cents jefferson nickel coins stay tuned as we uncover their fascinating history and current value now you might be thinking a penny from 1989 what's so special about that well my friends you'd be surprised let's dive right in first off take a look at this beauty Minted in 1989, this one-cent coin features the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on, on the obverse side. Did you know that Lincoln has been featured on the penny since 1909? It's true. In fact, this coin celebrates the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, is renowned for his leadership during one of the most tumultuous periods in American history, the Civil War. His legacy of honesty, integrity, and emancipation of slaves has cemented his place as one of the greatest presidents in U.S. history. Now let's talk value. While the 1989 penny may not fetch you a fortune, its historical significance and rarity and pristine condition can certainly make it a prized possession for collectors. In circulated condition, it typically holds its face value of one cent. However, if you happen to stumble upon one in uncirculated condition, it could be worth a few dollars to the right collector. As with any coin, factors such as condition, rarity, and demand play a significant role in determining its value. So if you're lucky enough to have one of these gems in your possession, be sure to handle it with care and consider having it appraised by a professional. 5 Cent 1989 Jefferson Nickel The Jefferson Nickel, introduced in 1938, features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse of Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia home, on the reverse. Now, the 1989 edition is particularly special because... It marks another year in the long lineage of this iconic coin, but what sets it apart? Well, aside from its historical significance, the 1989 Jefferson Nickel has garnered attention from collectors due to its limited mintage and unique characteristics. In terms of value, the 1989 Jefferson Nickel can vary depending on its condition, mint mark, and any potential errors or varieties. While circulated coins may fetch a modest sum, those in pristine condition or with rare features could command significantly higher prices. Now let's talk numbers. At auction, a 1989 Jefferson nickel in uncirculated condition can sell for anywhere between $1 to $5. However, if you happen to stumble upon a specimen with a rare error, such as a double die or off-center strike, its value could soar into the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But beyond its monetary value, each Jefferson nickel carries a piece of American history. From the Great Depression to the present day, these coins have witnessed pivotal moments in our nation's story. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1989 Jefferson Nickel is a piece worth exploring. And there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the world of the 1989 Jefferson Nickel. Remember, the value of a coin goes beyond its material worth. It's a portal to our past and a tangible piece of history. Now, you might be wondering why we're focusing on a seemingly ordinary coin from 1965. Well, the story behind this particular quarter is quite intriguing. Introduced amidst a period of transition in U.S. coinage, the 1965 Washington quarter marks a significant shift in composition. Prior to 1965, quarters were composed of 90% silver. However, due to a rising demand for silver and the escalating cost of production, the United States Mint made a historic decision. In 1965, the U.S. Mint ceased the production of silver quarters and began minting them with a composition of 75% copper and 25% nickel. This change not only altered the appearance of the coin, but also impacted its intrinsic value. But Despite the shift in composition, the 1965 Washington Quarter remains a sought-after collectible among numismatists. Its historical significance, coupled with its unique composition, contributes to its allure. Now let's talk about value. While the 1965 Washington Quarter may not boast the same intrinsic value as its silver predecessors, it still holds worth in the eyes of collectors. Depending on its condition and rarity, a 1965 Washington Quarter can fetch anywhere from a few dollars to several hundred dollars in the collector's market. Of course, factors such as mint marks, errors, and overall condition play a significant role in determining its value. But beyond its monetary worth, this coin serves as a tangible piece of history, a reminder of the evolving landscape of American currency and the intricate stories behind each minting. So the next time you come across a 1965 Washington Quarter in your pocket change or collection, take a moment to appreciate its rich history and the journey it represents. This coin holds a special place in British numismatic history. It was part of a series of decimal coins introduced in the United Kingdom in 1971, marking the transition from the old currency system to the decimal one we use today. 
The design features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse created by Arnold Machine. This elegant portrayal captures the Queen's grace and dignity, making it a favorite among collectors and enthusiasts alike. On the reverse side, we have the iconic image of a crown portcullis, which is a symbol associated with Parliament. This design was the work of Christopher Ironside, a renowned British coin designer. Now let's talk about the value of this coin. While the two new pence coin may not fetch a high price compared to some rare or older coins, it still holds value for collectors, especially those interested in modern British coinage. The condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins in uncirculated condition free from wear and tear are generally more sought after and command higher prices in the market. Factors such as rarity, demand, and historical significance also influence its value. While the 1981 two new pence coin is not particularly rare, it still holds sentimental and historical value, especially for collectors of British coins. If you're curious about the specific value of your 1981 two new pence coin, you can consult online resources, coin dealers, or even get it professionally appraised. Remember, the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated with the latest trends in the numismatic market. 1985 two new pence. Despite its small denomination, the 1985 two new pence coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. While its face value is merely two pence, its numismatic value can vary significantly depending on its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. Designed by renowned sculptor Arnold Machine, the obverse of the coin features a right-facing portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. This portrayal, commonly known as the second portrait, was used on British coinage from 1968 to 1984. Now, you might be wondering why a coin bearing the date 1985 features a portrait from the previous years. Well, the answer lies in the production process. Coins are often minted in advance, and the same portrait design may be used for several years before being updated. The 1985 Two New Pence coin was struck at the Royal Mint, which has been producing coins for the United Kingdom for centuries. Each coin tells a story of craftsmanship and history, and this Two Pence piece is no exception. As with any coin, the value of the 1985 Two New Pence piece can fluctuate based on factors such as its condition and rarity. While millions of these coins were minted, finding one in pristine condition or with a unique characteristic can make it highly sought after among collectors. 1990 UK Two New Pence Minted in 1990, this coin features the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side, created by renowned sculptor Arnold Machine. Take a look at this beauty. Now, on the reverse side, we have a design showcasing a crown portcullis with chains, a symbol that has been associated with British Parliament and authority for centuries. The two new pence denomination was introduced in 1971 as part of the decimalization of the British currency system. These coins were minted primarily for circulation purposes and were commonly used in everyday transactions. But what about the value of this coin today? Well, that's where things get interesting. While the face value of the coin is just two new pence, its worth to collectors can vary depending on its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. So if you happen to stumble upon one of these coins in your pocket change or hidden away in grandma's old jar, it might be worth taking a closer look. For collectors, finding coins in mint condition or those with unique features can significantly increase their value. Keep an eye out for coins with minimal wear and tear, as well as any minting errors or variations. And there you have it, folks, a brief glimpse into the captivating history and value of the UK 2 New Pence 1990 Elizabeth coin. Produced in 1999, this coin features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II gracing the obverse side with her regal presence. The reverse side depicts a symbolic image representing the essence of the United Kingdom during that period. Aside from its aesthetic appeal, let's talk about its historical significance. The two new pence coin was part of a series introduced in 1971 when the UK adopted a decimal currency system, transitioning from the old pounds, shillings, and pence system. Now, you might be wondering about its value. Well, as with any collectible coin, several factors come into play. Firstly, its condition coins in pristine condition tend to fetch higher prices in the market. Secondly, rarity coins with lower mint edges or specific variations can be more valuable to collectors. In terms of value, the 1999 UK two new pence Elizabeth coin typically ranges from a few pence for circulated coins to a few pounds for those in excellent condition. However, if you stumble upon a coin with a minting error or a unique variation, its value could soar significantly. If you're interested in starting your own coin collection, why not consider adding this delightful piece of history to your portfolio? It's not only a tangible connection to the past, but also a fascinating hobby that can spark curiosity and wonder. And there you have it, folks. The 1999 UK Two New Pence Elizabeth Coin, a miniature marvel that encapsulates a moment in time. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's talk about what makes the 1945 Wheat Penny so intriguing. This particular coin holds a significant place in numismatic history for several reasons. Firstly, take a look at its design. The front features the profile of President Abraham Lincoln, while the reverse side showcases two wheat stalks encircling the words one cent 
and the phrase United States of America. But what truly makes this coin stand out is the historical context in which it was minted. The year 1945 holds immense significance as it marks the end of World War II. As the world celebrated the end of one of the deadliest conflicts in history, the United States Mint continued its operations, albeit with certain limitations due to the wartime economy. Despite the challenges, millions of 1945 wheat pennies were produced, each carrying a piece of American history within its copper composition. Fast forward to today, and the 1945 wheat penny has become a coveted item among collectors. Its rarity, coupled with its historical significance, has made it a prized possession in many numismatic circles. Now let's talk about its value. While the 1945 wheat penny may not fetch astronomical prices like some other rare coins, it still holds considerable worth, especially in good condition. Factors such as minting location, minting errors, and overall condition play a significant role in determining the value of a 1945 wheat penny. For instance, coins struck at the Denver or San Francisco mints tend to be more valuable than those minted in Philadelphia. Moreover, any minting errors such as double dies or off-center strikes can significantly increase its worth. According to recent market trends, a 1945 wheat penny in average circulated condition can fetch anywhere from a few cents to a couple of dollars. However, for coins in pristine condition or with rare minting errors, the value can soar into the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, the 1945 wheat penny is undoubtedly a coin worth adding to your collection. 1956 Lincoln 1 cent. Before we delve into the specifics of the 1956 Lincoln cent, Let's take a moment to appreciate its significance in American numismatic history. Minted by the United States Mint, the Lincoln cent has become an iconic symbol of American currency, honoring one of our nation's most revered presidents, Abraham Lincoln. Now let's talk about the 1956 Lincoln cent. While many circulated coins from this era may not hold significant monetary value, there are certain factors that can make a coin more desirable to collectors. The value of a coin like this can vary based on factors such as its condition, rarity, and any unique characteristics it may possess. For instance, the 1956 Lincoln cent is often sought after by collectors due to its low mintage numbers compared to other years. When determining the value of a coin, its condition plays a crucial role. Coins in mint condition will generally fetch higher prices at auctions or from collectors. So if you happen to come across a well-preserved 1956 Lincoln cent, you might be holding on to a valuable piece of history. Now, let's take a quick trip back to 1956 to understand the historical context surrounding the minting of this coin. It was a time of significant cultural and political change in America, with Elvis Presley dominating the music charts and the civil rights movement gaining momentum. As you can see, each coin tells a story not just of its own creation, but also the time and place it came from. The 1956 Lincoln Cent is a small yet powerful piece of that narrative, reminding us of our nation's rich history and the individuals who have shaped it. And there you have it, folks, the value and history behind the 1956 Lincoln One Cent Coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, I hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for this humble yet remarkable piece of American currency. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting.